Hello, my name is Paige Turner. In this video, I will explain how to import Flowformer data into an Excel workbook using an OData feed. OData is a protocol which allows any client to access any data source. For example, we can export data from forms we've created in Flowformer into Excel. Here are some examples of charts we've created using Power Pivots. So now let's see how to set this up. You only need to do this once. Open Microsoft Excel 2010 or above. Go to File and select Options. Select the Add-in tab. Then, in the Manage window, select Com Add-ins from drop-down menu and click Go. Check the items. Microsoft Office Power Pivot for Excel 2013 and Power View, then click OK. You only need to do it once. In the Excel spreadsheet, select the Power Pivot tab and then select Manage from the ribbon. The new window opens. This is the Power Pivot window. Go to Get External Data and from there select from Data Service and from OData Data Feed. In order to get the URL, open Flowformer, click on Settings in the right top corner and select Flowformer Settings. In Flowformer Settings, click on Flowformer OData Feed. From here, copy the URL. Go back to Power Pivot and paste the URL from the data feed into the box. Click Test Connection, OK and Next. The table import wizard opens. From here you can determine which items to include. Select all items in the source table and click finish. Once everything is imported, the table import wizard shows you the status for each source table. Click close. Once you click finish, your feed will be created. Next, we have to create a relationship between the exported tables. OData provides a simple abstract data model based on entities and associations. OData allows you to import data from many sources. For example, SQL databases, Access Database, Excel workbooks, SharePoint lists, and of course, Flowformer flows. We can mix and match clients and data sources. OData uses the entity data model to describe data. To establish associations among entities, you need to follow these steps. For creating power pivot tables, you need to create relationships between the tables. Go to the Design tab and select Create Relationship from the ribbon. You need to create the following relationships. Connect Table, Flows and its Flow ID column with Table Forms and corresponding Flow ID column within this table. Click Create. Next, you need to connect forms to steps. In order to do that, click on the Create Relationship tab. Connect Table, Forms and its Form ID column with Table Steps and its Form ID column. Click Create. Finally, you need to connect the Steps table to the Questions table. Again, click on the Create Relationship tab. Connect Table Steps and its Steps Unique ID with table questions and its step unique ID. Click Create. To see all the relationships you've created, click on the Manage Relationships tab. Now let's see how to create simple reports using Power Pivot. You need to present a chart representing all employees hired based on their contract types. In your spreadsheet, select Manage tab. In the new window, Click on the Pivot Table and select Pivot Table. You can choose to create the report in a new or existing worksheet. Select your preferred option and click OK. Drag the question title to the Columns field. You can see all question types appear on the top of your table. Drag Answers to the Fields row. All answers are displayed in the rows. But hey! We want to know only the number of employees hired in different categories. In order to do that, we need to apply filters to our answers. 
go back to the title, click on it, unselect the tab Select All, and then select the contract type. Again, to get the answer, drag the answer to the value field. In order to create a chart, go to the Analyze tab and choose the type of chart you want to use. In this case, we'll use a pie chart. Click OK. To update your spreadsheet, simply click the Refresh button.